Hi everyone again, back already. Field hat man, Johan from Sweden. Uh, trying to keep the ball rolling here. Um, the the noise ball. Uh, I don't think this this channel will not be like a noise channel as such. I don't think, or maybe it will, but noise is just just what I'm into at the moment. So this will also be a little bit of that, kind of a um, extension almost from the previous video. Uh, <clears throat> we'll see if my my throat, my voice will hold up because I actually think it won't. But I have some water here and I try. Uh, but yeah. I pulled this in the latest video there, kind of spontaneously, the Hanna Taraj three-way split with Hanna Taraj, Runzel, Steering, Gurgelstock and Ebersonna, uh, really called Teeth Punk uh, on Toknik Aleph. <coughs> I think the year is 2002. I did look it up yesterday, but I forgot already. Maybe I should keep notes. But it's, uh, you know, 2000s-ish, I think. Um, and yeah, I kept it out and listened to it. Uh, it's a 12-inch 45 um, with live recordings, very lo-fi, blown out production or lack of production. <laughs> um, kind of like a audience recording, probably. But I mean, <clears throat> it kind of fits with their sound aesthetically. It's kind of part of their sound, even. Maybe not Rudolf Eber's sound as much. Runzel Stein Gurlsack is Rudolf Eber, as I mentioned in the other video there. He has a little bit more high fidelity stuff in later years, at least. But maybe in the 90s, it was a little bit like this. I think it's actually... Yeah, it's 90s recordings. 97 and 98. Uh, Hanna Taraj and Eberson is in Tokyo. And uh, Runselstern is in San Francisco, uh, and they are titled Live Actions. So kind of a actionist performance pieces. And yeah, I was listening to this and uh, went into a uh, little bit of a not not really a Hannah Tarash role, and not really a not a Jamatsuka I role. Uh, but more of like a junk noise role, <coughs> kind of, with a few things that I've listened to here. Um, because this is essentially junk noise. Um, ex I have no idea what I'm, where I'm going with this, sorry, it's, it's, this, is, this is how the channel will be. I don't have time to prepare much, so uh, it will just be me jumping on camera and say something i don't know anyway hannah tarash i should mention i i'm i did not uh, go into the hannah tarash uh, rant in the other video there and i don't think i will go into it much here either but if you don't know and want to know hannah tarash was a early band or pro project by jamatsuka i who is later more well known much more well known uh, as the vocalist of the noise rock band boredoms uh, these are Japanese people here, Japanese band. Uh, Boredoms, I have never actually been that much into myself, honestly. But uh, Hana Tarash is an uh, all-time favorite band or project. And um, as I mentioned, it's like often uh, associated with uh, something called danger music. Which can, a lot of the times, is just, you know, stupid and, you know why do that and all that but for me it's kind of actually i don't care much for that it's the sonic output the sonic uh, uh yeah the sonic output of all that that i enjoy listening to it but it's essentially you know jamatsuka i and his band members throwing stuff around on stage like glass pieces of glass um I don't know, it's so long since I looked into all this, but also using like power tools and stuff like that. And then a very famous example, uh, which if if you're into this, it's like the uh, you're you're bored with this example because it's like one of those if you're if you're into black metal, you don't want to hear about the mayhem murder stories and bursum uh, uh, church burnings because you heard it a thousand times. But Hannah Tarash, Yamatsuka I. Uh, <clears throat> rumorly or 
people say that he there's some photos of it but it's say people say that he uh ran out of the venue and i think somehow stole a bulldozer or something on a destruction area next door and somehow like rammed the walls of the venue with that making a mess of everything destroying the place more or less so that's kind of their their thing to put themselves and the audience in danger um and also you know recording it mostly it's live recordings i think I, that, that 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 approach does not fit in the studio but but yeah the low finesse and blown out sound is part of their aesthetics uh <clears throat> so yeah anyway uh this is pretty good cool and <clears throat> yeah as i said also ebersona is uh, rudolf eber uh featuring or collaboration with uh, masona another harsh noise uh, japanese legend or pioneer uh this this turn started out in the 80s most of these early 80s and uh, <clears throat> yeah that's that and i did pull a um why am i having them down there i could have them here. a uh, cd and a tape by a band called snot nosed you can see the name there snot nosed and it's actually a uk based tribute band hannah Tarash tribute band by someone primarily by michael gilham i think his name is some other people are on here i think this one this tape named cock vomit the lighting is not that bad but not that good here but cock vomit um yeah they, they also use all these kind of stupid names with titles with <coughs> uh, foul language cock is a common word um Actually, Cock Vomit is probably taken from a very famous, or my favorite Hannah Tarash LP, self-titled and released in like 84 on the Alchemy Records label. Label run by Jojo in uh, Hijo Kaiden, another one of those legendary pioneers of Japanese, as it's called, harsh noise. Uh, but they released, Hannah Tarash released a um, LP uh, in 84, 85 or something, uh, which kind of looks like this, uh, and um, uh, yeah, it's the same colors, same logo, they took the logo a little bit and changed it to, it's an S and an N, whereas Hannah Tarash logo was H and N then, uh, <coughs> but that, um, that Alchemy Records uh, LP by Hannah Tarash had all titled, the track titles were all cock something and you know stupidly so there's probably a track called cock vomit on there i haven't checked but i guess it is um actually also speaking of tribute bands uh here's another one i guess would call a tribute band i think i have more one more but cock esp is that i know that for a fact that that is from a track of that hannah trash album uh, and this is, I haven't listened to this now, this is kind of like harsh noise more than junk noise and all that stuff. But yes, not noticed, Michael Gilham from UK, uh, CDR, live shit action from 2003-2006 on something named At War Records. And this tape I think is from 2010 called Cock Vomit. Um, and yeah, it's a tribute band. It has a uh, kind of an inlay or book inlet here inside this small thing uh, where it's uh, saying all that and uh, um, so on. And it's pretty much sim very similar also to the Alchemy LP by Hannah Tarash. Sorry, I, I have no focus in this video. Whatever. It has like a band approach almost, it has like, uh, I mean it's mostly indistinguishable uh, what are making these sounds, but Hannah Tarash had some instruments, they had guitar and drums and uh, bass even maybe, uh, sometimes, but some other times it was just junk noise, 
and I think that's maybe this band has as well. Um, but it's essentially just blown out junk noise with a lot of feedback. One track from here is like just rumbly loud feedback from an amp kind of if you put an electric guitar down and get feedback sounds and they have that in the forefront with just loud and then just junk noise in the background kind of thing. Uh, a little bit like that is in general is Hana Taraj sound as well as a snot nosed sound. Snot nosed actually, Hana Taraj actually means snot nosed in Japanese so that there, there's that name. Um, what more to say? <laughs> yeah, a lot of, you know, throwing around stuff, screaming like crazy, um, acting wild, chaotic, dangerous, violent, and uh, yeah, I like the sound of that more than the actual, actual concepts. I don't know why I like that sound. If anyone asks me that, I have no idea. I just, I just like it. I love it. Harsh junk noise kind of sounds, which is this snot nosed. Actually also Emil Bulio, Ron Lazard, who I talked about in the earlier video there, he is on here. I didn't notice that until just before now. He is credited with introduction. So <coughs> there's that. Snot nosed, Yuki based, maybe I didn't say. Uh, here's another one I pulled from kind of the same sound. Uh, Hal Hutchinson titled it, This Lightning Sucks. Sorry, can I do it like this? Dedicated to Damage is the compilation name. It's actually a compilation. Dedicated to Damage, it also says inside here uh, on the J card. I'm not sure if that's a citation, recitation from somewhere or so if it's just a general approach these guys have but yeah dedicated to damage on um, Untergeschosch and filth and violence records uh, year is like 2000 this is also like 2005 or something 2000 or maybe it's more recent actually 2015 or something but it's a, it's a comp of like tracks from um, uh, various artists compilation and some stuff like that but it's also like just wild junk noise harsh noise a lot of feedback a lot of like <coughs> glass and metal scraping sheets of metal and uh, uh, power tools and uh, sometimes just sounding like you're moving around furnace furniture <laughs> Um, this is I, makes me think a lot of uh, the new blockaders, which is also like a pioneer of the junk noise, harsh noise style. Uh, also UK based. I think this is all, Hal Hutchinson is also UK based. I think um, I'm, I'm not sure how for how long he's been around, but um, and also <coughs> weirdly. Michael Gilham of this Snot Nosed project, he is featured on here, which I didn't know, which was all just a coincidence. But yeah, that's Hal Hutchinson's. Actually, I, I wanted to pull. Um, I don't have a lot of. I, I just have these two by the new blockaders, but I really like them. Uh, these two. The <coughs> new, new blockaders was also a UK. Um, Act two brothers, Ru uh, Philip and Mike. I don't know, remember their names, but Rupinus is their last name. Uh, <coughs> pioneers of uh, harsh noise, junk noise. This is a 10 inch that I really like called Falten from 2003 on Hypnagogia. Uh, it's a clear vinyl, yeah, clear. I'm not pulling it out, but. And uh, th this is not junk noise, I haven't listened to it now, but I really, really like this one. It's more harsh noise, but with a very odd distortion sound, kind of almost like clipping sound. Maybe that's a good word for the distortion. Uh, <coughs> but yeah, harsh noise. And uh, I, I pulled this also. Uh, new blockaders, split, no split, or no collaboration with uh, Merchbau. Uh, 
Merspau being, you know, one, one of the most well-known noise artists in general. If, if you only know one noise artist, it's probably going to be Merspau from Japan. Also Pioneer, started in the late 70s, I believe, even. Uh, <clears throat> this is a later collaboration. 2001 or something again. I think it's the same label. <coughs> Hypnagogia. I don't really remember how this sounds, but it's it's great as well. I think it's more of a power noise rhythmic uh, vibe on this. A little bit more minimal, not as harsh, but uh, also good. And uh, <coughs> another one that I very recently bought a CD from a Finnish act called Coral Shut on a label called Satatuhatta. Satatuhatta. I have no idea who, people, who these people are involved, uh, but it's some harsh junk noise again. Uh, same kind of production, blown out, lo-fi, harshness, uh, which I think is, I, I haven't really looked into the label all that much, but it seems like their overall approach is kind of that so i will probably pick up a couple more cds from that label finnish based label so i think most of the artists are finnish and yeah that was the things that i pulled for this <coughs> video very spontaneous actually i could pull one more uh, which i i'm just looking at it here i talked about lucas abela <coughs> from Australia from uh, on this DJ Smallcock on the other video there as I said he has many uh, many, uh, many other noise projects and this is one peeled hearts paste which is also junk noise I should have listened to this may too maybe I, I should keep this out now and listen to it and get back to you about this I do remember that I didn't like it all that much but he's it's a very cool project uh, this peeled hearts paste. He he built <coughs> a homemade like bridge, bowed bridge like this, a big one on stage with all kinds of rotating motors on it with rotating objects, like kind of like plates, turntable plates that he attached different stuff on. Some some of it was like symbols and some is like um, uh, saw blades even I think and. Uh, different stuff that was rotating and then he uses um, different kind of uh, metal uh, things on these things like using it as a percuss percussion instrument making a you know chaotic junk noise vibe more or less and he also has that <laughs> lo-fi blown out production I don't know if maybe this uh, this noise kind of noise needs that <clears throat> to be successful uh, as all of these or if it's just me who likes that um, I'm not sure but anyway hope uh, <laughs> hope you did, don't think you wasted your time here listening to me rambling um, unfocused about stuff but yeah, Hannah Tarash is a cool project, you should look into it if you're into this kind of stuff and all these others are great too. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'll drink some water and say take care, goodbye. Thanks for all the comments on the latest video, much appreciate, appreciated. Um, bye. <laughs>